Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to Fun in the Kitchen with April. So today, I am going to show you how to make lobster bisque. And this is for one of my good friends who asked me a while ago to do it and it's taken me some time to do it. So Geneva, this is for you. And thank you to all my subscribers and my new subscribers. So happy you continue to watch and enjoy my videos. So on to our lobster bisque. All right, so here are our ingredients that we need for our lobster bisque. So I already have two cups of salted water coming to a boil because we have to have that because we want to get ready to put our four lobster tails. So that's what you're going to need, four lobster tails, okay? And we want to put that into the water, okay? Secondly, you're going to need a tablespoon of kosher salt so that you put that in that salted water there, okay? I mean, in that water so that it becomes salted water. Then we're going to do two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one Vidalia onion, one clove of garlic chopped. I have it in there with the um, thyme, which is a tablespoon of thyme. We're also going to do some um, one bay leaf, and we're going to do one teaspoon of paprika, which is one of these two well i think that's the paprika and then one tablespoon of cayenne pepper which is right there and then we need two three cups of um low sodium chicken stock a can of fire roasted tomatoes and a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream so i have my heavy whipping cream um a half cup of half and half right here and then we're also going to do um we need two tablespoons of tomato paste. And then at the end, we're gonna have a splash of lemon juice, which I forgot to put out here, but that's okay. So because, let me swing you over to the pot over here. Let me see if I can get you in. Because my water is boiling already, I am going to go ahead and put my lobster tails in there. So we're gonna put these four lobster tails in there, shell side down, okay? And we're gonna let them go ahead and steam up for about five minutes till they turn that nice, pretty red color that we're looking for. And we're just gonna let them steam for about five minutes, or boil, whichever one, for about five minutes, okay? I hope you can see that in there. Let me see if I can bring you a little closer. So I have them in there, shell side down, because also that is how we're gonna make our broth for our lobster bisque, okay? So we wanna get that in there cooking nicely, okay? So we're gonna let that hang out for about five minutes and I'll be back with you. Okay, so now our lobster has cooked and it is nice, it's ready to come out and it is ready to come out it's cooked in our water and you know it's already cooked so what we're doing is like you can totally eat this like because it's cooked already and you see how nice and red that tail is so i'm gonna just put them on a plate so that it can cool and we can um take the meat out okay afterwards okay so that's what i'm gonna do because i don't want to burn myself so we need for this to cool and i don't want you guys to burn yourself either. So we're gonna take the lobster out, let it cool, and then what we're gonna do with this um, with this stock right here, because remember I placed the the shell face down, I mean shell down, and I did that for a reason because I need this lobster stock. So what I'm going to do is take this lobster stock right here and put it into another bowl. So I'm gonna strain it into another bowl. So give me a second so I can change the camera around so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I have my bowl in the sink because I don't wanna make a mess and I have my strainer and I'm just going to pour this lobster stock into the bowl there. And we're gonna use this pot 
to make the rest of our stuff, okay? To get the rest of our ingredients together. And I'm just gonna cover my little bowl up there because we're gonna come back to that stock. So I'm gonna cover it up. Okay, let me go back to the stove. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and put my olive oil into the same pot that we just took our stock out of. There we go, put a little bit of olive oil in there because now we're going to saute our onions, okay? And this is over medium heat. I'm gonna put my onions in here. This is one whole Valdelia onion. You know the Valdelia onion has that sweet taste to it. So we're gonna let that saute up for a little bit. And then we'll add in all of our other, uh, we'll add in our garlic once the, um, the onion has gotten sauteed a bit, we'll add that garlic in there. Okay, so we're gonna let this cook for a minute and I will be back with you. Okay, you see what our um, onions are looking like? They're looking really nice. And I think it's about time for me to add in my uh, my garlic. Okay, because I think they're getting cooked up really nice in here. Let's see. Yeah, they're about translucent now. So, I'm going to take my garlic. Yeah, I messed up because I did try to use the same bowl as that I put the thyme in, but that's okay. And I'm gonna just put my clove of garlic in here. Add that to it. Yep, get that mixed up nicely in there. Yep, this is a really, really nice quick and easy lobster bisque recipe that you can do. I mean, you know, it's a nice um, dinner, light dinner, you know, and then you can add a piece of um, toasted um, Texas toast with it, or even you can have, I don't know, cause it's kind of similar to a tomato soup. So you can probably add a grilled cheese if you like, but you know, this is a really good soup. And once we add in that lobster meat, oh my goodness, I know it's going to be amazing. Yes, okay. So now what we want to do is go ahead and add in our tomato paste. Okay. And again, your... um. Your heat should be on like medium high, okay? So that's what that's where we want it. We want it on medium high. And you see that nice color that it changed the onions and the garlic to. So we're gonna let that just get in there really nice. Let that cook for a minute. Just to get it real nice. The color is just a beautiful, beautiful color it's like a deep well yeah it's a deep red color oh it's just beautiful and you know what it smells amazing already and we haven't even finished adding in all of our ingredients but it smells amazing guys so i'm gonna have to open up this wine because we need to deglaze our pot with this wine so and i don't know if i told you but we need two cups of Chardonnay. So what I did, I bought, or any other dry wine. So if you have like a rosé or something, but this is a Chardonnay and we're gonna use this. It is a dry wine. And we're gonna do two cups of our Chardonnay dry wine. Okay, because we're gonna use this to deglaze our pot. There we go. Wow, that that just made it because I bought the, the small bottle of wine. So that just made it. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. 
So we're going to use this wine to deglaze our pan and release all those nice, nice, because you know, it's probably turning a little brown here. So it's going to release all those nice flavors in there. Oh, just amazing. Oh, let, me, let me go ahead and um, make sure all the onion and garlic is combined in there. Yes. And as soon as I opened up that wine, you can really smell that wine. The wine smells good. Can't drink any because I need it all for this uh for this pot right here. But it smells amazing. And it's going to what this wine is going to do is deglaze the bottom of the pan, like I just said, and pick up all of those nice flavors of the onion and the uh the garlic and the tomato paste that I just put in there okay so I think I can do that now so let's go ahead and add in our white wine our Chardonnay remember it has to be a dry wine there we go now do you see that and it smells great it smells really nice guys Oh, I can't wait for you to make this. I hope you are cooking along with me. This is a good one. I think you all are going to enjoy this because this is a good one. And what I just did, like I just said, I just deglazed my pan and picked up all of those nice flavors that I had. So I'm going to let that just those flavors marinate in there for a few minutes. Yep. Let that get all those nice flavors in there for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is wonderful. Okay, so I think we're good. Okay. So really quick before we finish adding in everything into our broth, let me show you how to take your lobster meat out of your shell. Now I forgot to tell you that you want to cut your lobster down the middle here and down the middle here and that is how you're going you're going to remove your meat and it just comes out it's simple it comes off no problem you just remove the meat just like that you see and that is it that's all that's to that okay real simple and easy so i'm going to finish getting the rest of my lobster um meat out in my Put my shells to the side so that we have our lobster meat later but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put these shells back into our broth for a little bit too okay give me a minute okay so now we're gonna add in our bay leaf all of our um cayenne pepper paprika all of our um ingredients we're gonna add those in now our thyme you can use fresh thyme. I didn't have any fresh thyme, so that's why I use dry thyme, but it all works the same. We're going to add in our, um, remember our reserve stock that I had earlier from when we boiled the lobster? We're going to add in our chicken stock. And let me open up this can of tomatoes because we're going to add in our can of tomatoes as well these fire roasted diced tomatoes. We're gonna add this in as well. Uh-oh, I splashed everything, that's okay. And what we're gonna do with this, now that we have everything in there, you see how pretty that looks? All our ingredients are in there. Oh, I forgot to put the shells in there. That was the main thing I was supposed to put in there. Put the shells back in here. Okay, let me put the shells back in here. So I'm going to put a few of the shells back in here. Because that's going to give you more, um, more flavor, more lobster flavor. So I'm just adding some of the shells back in here for more of that good lobster flavor. And we're going to let that cook for just some of there for another um, 45 minutes. 
okay so we're gonna let this simmer I'm gonna turn the heat down and we're gonna let this simmer for 45 minutes okay and I will be back with you in 45 minutes okay it is 45 minutes later so now what I'm going to do is remove the the um, lobster shells that was in here because what we're going to do next is put it in the blender because all we need we don't want the shells of course in there because we're not going to eat the shells and we're going to remove the bay leaf we're going to remove all of these shells we don't want any shells in here because we don't eat shells and after we remove all the shells i am going to put this in the blender so that we can get it to a smooth creamy consistency and then we'll add our cream and our half and half and a splash of lemon juice in here and i think i got all of the the shells i think i got all of them out and when I tell you that this smells absolutely delicious and I can't wait to dig into it, it smells amazing. So you see how pretty that looks? So now I'm going to go ahead and put it in my blender because I don't have the handheld blender. The immersion blender is what it's called. So I need to, um, I need to put it in the regular blender. Okay. So give me a second to um, put this in my regular blender and I will show you what it looks like. Okay. Okay. So we're going to put it on puree. Okay. So. Now that we have everything pureed up, you see that? Everything is pureed nicely in there. It's all pureed. Now what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to put my, my stove on to simmer. I'm going to add in my cream, heavy whipping cream, which was a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream. And then I'm going to add in a half a cup of half and half. And one teaspoonful of lemon juice. It could be fresh or, you know, the lemon juice that you buy in a bottle. And we're going to stir that up. Get that nice and creamy. There we go. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. And this is our base for our lobster bisque. This is it. This is it, guys. It wasn't hard. It wasn't hard at all. This is it. And what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to taste a little bit of it. Just a little bit because um, I got to wait on my husband to get home to eat. But I will taste a little bit for you. Okay? So give me a second. Okay, everyone, I put a few pieces of the lobster meat in here. Okay, like I said, I'm not going to do a whole lot because I have to wait on my husband to eat. So you just cut up a few pieces of the lobster meat. And to make your plate, your bowl, you just put a little bit of the, the broth onto your, over your lobster meat. And I tell you what, you can garnish it with some um, parsley or you know just to make it look pretty so this the broth is hot so therefore your your um, lobster meat is going to reheat through that broth so I'm going to taste it for you hold on okay guys I'm going to taste a little bit for you mmm the spice is nice. This is really good. 
Oh, I can't wait for you guys to try this. This is so good. I did a good job. So proud of myself. This is really good, guys. I can't wait for you to taste it. Mm-hmm. That lobster meat is just right. It has a nice spice to it from the um, cayenne pepper. It's really, really good. Can't wait for you guys to try it. So, that is your lobster bisque for today. And Geneva, I made this for you. So, I hope that you enjoy it when you make it. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And press the notification bell so you know the next time I have a great recipe coming for you. Bye.